This is going to be a hip external rotation stretch, which is going to stretch the posterior capsule of your hip joint along with all of the muscles um, that surround that so that we can improve the flexibility of those muscles, but also specifically improve more joint space. What we are going to start with is how to get into the stretch, what you should feel, what you shouldn't, um, as well as a couple modifications. And then we're going to move into how to do pales rails with this stretch, which is how to strengthen at your end ranges of motion and make sure that the flexibility work you're doing and the ranges of motion you're gaining are actually usable ranges of motion, which is always the point of flexibility training. So to start, we are going to be up against a wall and you're going to be on your back like so. We want our knees and hips at about 90 degrees angles here. So if you need to scoot closer or further away from the wall, that's where you wanna be. To start, you may want to move further away from the wall eventually if you are not able to feel the sensations that you need. To actually get into hip external rotation to feel the stretch, we are going to cross one leg across the other, just like a figure four, and we are going to start here. For some people, that may look like this, and you may have to press your knee into a nice deep stretch, or if you are too far away and you don't feel that glute, so I'm working on my right hip here, you should feel a nice deep butt sensation of stretching, then you can go a little bit closer to now get a little bit deeper of a stretch. If you are feeling hip pinching or groin stuff here, then you actually want to do the opposite and move a little further away. I have a lot of hip external rotation, so going closer is how close I have to go to feel a stretch. But a lot of people, when they really need this stretch, don't have a ton of flexibility, they need to move further away, and then they need to cross their knee here so they're not in as much external rotation and we're not pinching into closing angle symptoms. So find the position where you feel a nice deep glute stretch, but no closing angle symptoms in your groin, you're gonna hold that for about two minutes. Now, if you are barely able to feel a stretch, you can't feel it, a way to increase the intensity might be to grab your leg and pull closer. Again, this is going to be a very progressed version, um, so do not push into this if you are unable to. Once the two minutes is up and you are relaxing into that stretch, we are going to work on pales rails in this position to strengthen those end ranges of motion. So pales is going to be the contraction of the muscles that you were just stretching, which is going to be those glute muscles in that right side if you're working on your right hip, left if you're working on your left hip. We're gonna think about taking our ankle and driving it into our leg. This motion is the, mus is the motion we are thinking about. Those muscles are what we're trying to contract. Obviously, we're not doing this motion because this is an isometric contraction, but we wanna think about that movement Feel the muscles if you need to before you do it and then get into that position, stay there and slowly push your ankle into your leg and feel those glute muscles contract, ramp up the intensity to the desired intensity and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Once that time is up, ramp down, relax. We are now gonna contract into, into rails. Rails contraction or the regressive tissue is going to be the muscles that would do this type of emotion. Most people will try to hike their pelvis, so make sure your pelvis is not moving. That way we are actually working on the ball and socket joint and not involving our spine. From here, you're thinking about moving into this movement, but of course you're at your end range of motion, so you're not gonna have movement. It's just an isometric contraction. So you're thinking about lifting your ankle up towards your face. So we are thinking about that movement, but we are not allowing anything to actually do that. You're just gonna feel those muscles try to rotate your thigh out into external rotation. You are then going to ramp that contraction up to the prescribed intensity and hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. Once that is done, you're gonna ramp it back down, relax, and that is going to be one round of your pales rails after that stretch. If you are a beginner, one round might be enough, but we're always going to progress with additional rounds in the future because progressive overload is also important for mobility training.